Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking this video today. Now today I'm super excited for this episode because in the last episode we saw Zeke making a run for it and then obviously Captain Levi kicked his ass, caught him <laughs> and I'm pretty sure he has no legs at the moment. Anyways, I'm super excited to see what's going to happen in today's episode so let's get to it. Obviously we're with Zeke. Okay. We live here, so he must be with his dad. Compared to the world, it's like a tiny birdcage. Where else have we heard this reference of a cage? I can see where Aaron gets it from. Since we can't leave, we have to live here till we die. Oh my gosh, that's very morbid, Mr. Jaeger. Oh my god, especially for a kid, Jesus. Oh my god. He recognized there were Eldians. <gasps> And he just threw that dirty water on them. Oh my god. What an asshole. Oh my gosh. It's my job to clean the tower and get rid of trash. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Is this Falco? It looks like Falco when he's obviously training. One of these kids will be my successor. Okay. One of them is falling behind us. Oh, Jaeger. Okay, so that's Zeke. Okay. Well, that's what happens when your parents sign you up. Yeah, he has none of that drive. Well, you do have a special power, yes, and it's in your blood. For some reason, I am kind of vibing that they are not going to the community social dance club. This is a tragedy of Vago that occurred 1200 years ago. I remember this. This was in one of those end credit scenes in the previous episodes. After Lago was destroyed in a day, the Titan went to cause horrors of Vale and ravaging a mont. Oh my gosh. However, bum bum bum, the Eldian Empire put Titans along the footpath. And at daybreak, the Titans rose and attacked. Oh, I mean, at least he's not selling them out just yet. Oh, there we go. See that side eye look? He does not want to become a warrior. Oh, Mr. Jaeger's sister. Oh my gosh. Look at her. Oh my god. Oh my god, that commander looks scary, guys. Oh my god. Oh my god, stop. This is all he wants. He just wants to play with his dad. He just wants to be a kid. Oh my god. Oh my god, we'll be able to study some more. Boom! Nobody wants to study anymore, Mr. Jaeger. You study. Let Zeke chill out. He finished school early. Oh, poor Zeke. Oh my god. In other words, the tragedy of Lago never happened, the ravaging of Mont, and the horrors of Vala stories made up as well. I <laughs> am so confused. I don't know if this is how Zeke is feeling because his grandparents telling him that this happened and then his dad tells him that <laughs> this didn't happen and it's confusing because I don't know who to believe. I mean, I have no vested interests in either of them and so I Still don't know who to believe is telling the truth. Oh, look, see, so I can see here Zeke is actually paying attention. And he obviously wants to impress his dad. Whereas with his grandpa, he was not really paying attention. Oh my god, all he wants is his dad. Oh my god, guys. Oh my god. So he goes to his grandparents. He's told like one thing. He goes to his dad and he has all this pressure of having to become this Malian warrior. And then he goes to school and has all this pressure to become the Malian warrior. Where does he even get a break to breathe, guys? Oh my gosh. This is a lot of pressure on Zeke. Oh my gosh. This is the guy who we saw in the last episode, guys. He has the same reading glasses Zeke has. Oh my god. This is all Zeke wants. He just wants to play catch. I feel like this guy is obviously very important to Zeke. I can see why he would form that connection with him because here he can just chill and be a kid. 
Oh my god, he has the Beast Titan, so obviously Zeke inherits it from him. Well, I mean, I really think it comes down to the user. Oh, okay, so his name is Tom Casavo. He works in Titan Research. Interesting. Oh my god, guys. Oh my god, listening to this <laughs> makes me so sad, they're putting so much pressure on Zeke. Oh my god, a chance like this comes once in a century. This makes me so angry and upset, guys. They have all this pressure on Zeke, oh my god. Oh my god, all of them looking at Zeke like that. Seriously, oh my god, guys, you need to chill, he's a kid. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Mr. Yeager, you cannot look at your kid like that. That is not cool. Oh my god. What an ass he's walking away, guys. What an asshole. Seriously. Oh my god. Oh my god. Mr. Yeager is yelling, oh my god. I can really empathize with Zeke in this moment when you hear your parents fighting and I mean, they're arguing about him too and you just want to hide. You feel like crap. I feel for Zeke here. And it's not nice feeling this way and having your parents get into an argument because of you. I love how they have like that cut <laughs> to <laughs> Tom Kasama, <laughs> them playing catch. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's stressed out at home, he's stressed out at school, and then it comes to Mr. Kasava, and it's just easy here with him. <laughs> oh my god, it's dumb to shorten your life for Mali and get sent to other nations to fight. Oh my god, he just said that out loud. Oh my god. <laughs> you know, I kind of get the vibe that with Mr. Kasava here, he didn't go through the training that these guys are going through because obviously he said he's a Titan researcher. Whereas with Zeke and with Annie Bertolt and Reiner and all them, they had to really go through a lot of training. And so I feel like this honorary Malian training, quite newish. I mean, Looking back at the end credits, we did see the king with the children and I do feel like he forced the children to eat something. So I really want to know the truth of it all as well. Exactly, compared to the mysteries of the time, hatred and war is so trivial when we learn about the times, you know, when we saw who was given which titan and we learn more about their skills. It was so interesting. Look, I don't know about Zeke being a decent person. I mean, maybe at this point he still is, but I mean, he's an asshole. I thought he would have been brought up in a lab because of his lack of empathy and understanding for, of other people. But I guess he would have been also treated as an outsider because his parents were Eldian restorationists too. I mean, to be fair, like, we did also see Falco and his brother. I mean, they're not complete assholes. Falco is such a good kid, and I'm pretty sure they were making up for their family member being an Eldian restorationist. Oh my god, we finally got a lead. They're Eldian restorationists. A trader called the Owl formed it. We've got a few hunches already. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Mr. Yeager's face, honestly, is making me so mad right now. What an asshole. Oh my god. Guys. <laughs> oh my god. He warned his parents. If they find out, we will be sent to paradise. Sent to the island of the devils and made into tiners. Oh my god. He warned them to stop. Oh my god. Mr. Yeager, you idiot oh my god can you just stop for one second well you know what mr jaeger you guys take that stand we're fighting for the future of all aliens you're not fighting though you guys are huddling together some secret hiding place of yours and you guys have put all 
your money and time and effort into Zeke. Zeke becoming this Malian warrior. You're not actually fighting. Can't he? Here he's scared. He doesn't want to die. Oh my god. You fight them, Miss Yeager. Stop forcing Zeke to do what you can't. Miss Yeager, you're making me so mad. Oh my god. Oh my god, he told Mr. Kasava. Holy crap. Well, I mean, I am, and I'm not surprised. He did feel very comfortable, and you can see that they were forming a close relationship with Mr. Kasava. Oh, stop, Zeke. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. It was you, it was Mr. Kasava who persuaded him. I feel like Mr. Kasava's reaction here is very over the top. I'm just assuming that like they've only met to play a couple of times um, and they only played catch with each other. But I do believe that his reaction is very over the top. It's not like he's known Zeke for a long time. And it's not even as if he knows his parents either perhaps this is triggering some memory for mr cassava <gasps> oh my god look i don't believe your parents have been terrible to you look they have been dicks yes they gave up on you okay look they did <laughs> and okay maybe they didn't care how you felt oh my god but look i would say i don't know if they never loved juicy Mr. Kasava, you can't really say that. You don't really know if they never loved you. Oh my god. Oh my god, Mr. Yeager's face. What did you expect? What did you expect? You literally made living at home with him hell. And then you put him in the training camp of your enemy. Okay, to be fair, the training camp of the enemy is like also a hell. But there was just this one person who was able to persuade him because he was just nice to him. Mr. Jaeger, if you were just a dad to him and let him be a kid, you might not be in this situation, Mr. Jaeger. Oh, damn! Zeke's actually quite attractive. Okay, so he mustn't have much longer left. Look, there's Pierre, Gallia, Rhino, and Bertolt. Oh my gosh. Okay, so they obviously haven't received their Titan yet. Okay, so I always thought that Zeke got his Titan before these guys, so perhaps. They all got it at the same time then. I'm curious to know if Zeke turning in his parents was enough for him to automatically be given a Titan. Or what did he do to convince them that he was worthy of a Titan? Did he step up his game in training perhaps? Oh wow, they can also change the anatomy of their bodies. That's so interesting. So technically what, they could give themselves an extra arm, an extra leg to run faster? That's so interesting. 600 years ago, a terrible pandemic devastated the population. But all of a sudden, the disease just vanished from the Eldian Empire. Okay. The king at the time used the banning time to change how their bodies work. So cool. Oh my god. I mean, that is crazy to believe that no matter where they go, they are all part of the Founding Titan. That the Founding Titan can still control them. So crazy. <gasps> what? Can the Founding Titan make it so the subjects of Ymir can't bear children? What the hell? If none of us are able to have kids, Titans would be wiped out in 100 years. Oh my gosh. If we hadn't been born, we wouldn't have to suffer. Oh, he had a family once, guys. In my foolish youth. Oh, he removed his armband. Hid the fact he was an Eldian and had a wife and child. Oh my god, guys. I feel like this would have been a time where it was just easy to like remove the armband. But when she found out, oh my god. Oh, she slit their son's throat. And then her and oh my god purely because he was Eldian. oh my god that is horrible oh my god oh my god well it definitely is a grandiose way to commit suicide that is for sure oh, he looked for his dead son in me and i ran from my sins with time powers oh my gosh 
So, earlier when we saw Mr. Kasava being extremely upset about finding out that his parents were Eldian restorationists, did this trigger this memory in Mr. Kasava perhaps? Because he was afraid that Zeke would be turned into a ton and ultimately die. And he didn't want that for Zeke because obviously he sees his son in Zeke. Oh my god, to retake the world, save the world. I mean, technically, he missed out wishes. The savior of Eldians. This is something I haven't told Mali, a way to break the vow of renouncing the world. As luck would have it, it's only possible because it's you. The time with royal blood comes into contact with the family time. It's possible to draw out its powers on the world. However, the power isn't yours to use. The right lies with the founding time. Okay, I'm a little confused at what that means. So, even if Eren was to give Zeke the power, the right still belongs to Eren? Or he needs Eren's right to be able to use the power? Does that make sense? The founding time needs to trust someone. Oh my god. Oh my god. Someone who understands our euthanization plan. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look, it's Mr. Kasava. He's smiling. Oh my god, guys. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'll find someone farther. Oh my god, there you go, guys. Well, obviously, he definitely saw Mr. Kasava as a father like figure. I mean, what gives you the right to make this decision on behalf of all the audience? That makes me so mad at Zeke. Like, who do you think you are? Okay, so this is when obviously Reiner and Bertolt came back with Adair. How did Mr. Jaeger survive all that time before he got to that wall? Oh, that's what he meant by someday I'll come and rescue you. Oh my god. He does! He does look like him a bit. Oh my god, guys. Okay, so Yelena did, in fact, lie. She told Aaron a lot more than what she said to Pixie. Oh my god, she even knew about the Eldian euthanization plan? Holy crap! Yelena, you bitch. <laughs> I mean, technically, yes, if those kids were alive, their royal family could retake the family time. I know it's so crazy, right? Like, literally, in that one moment, they were wiped out. And obviously, if they had retaken the town, Titan, they would be bound by renouncing the war, and humanity would still be doomed within the wars. So crazy. There is no greater salvation than never being bored in this world. Oh my god, Aaron. How could you do that to Mikasa? How can you do that to Araman? How can you do this, Eren? Zeke is tearing up now <laughs> because I guess he's found the person who will help him with his plan. Oh what gives you guys the right to make this decision on behalf of everybody? We're gonna save everyone. He just said out loud their plan. Oh my god, I wonder if Captain Levi was listening. Okay, yep, he gauged something about euthanization. Oh my god, Captain Levi is so sexy. Oh my god, Captain Levi is so sexy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, what are you doing? Oh my god! Oh my god, oh my god, it's going to explode! Oh my god! Oh my god, Captain Eva! Oh my god! The horses! Oh my god, I hope he's okay! Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh my god, guys. So that was the end of today's episode. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. It was interesting to see Zeke's side of things. I mean, I still think he's an asshole for all the way he treats everyone and how he just kills everyone. But I can also see that he did warn his parents to stop. I am also so excited to see what's going to happen in the next episode. I hope Captain Levi is okay. 
I hope Zeke is okay because I feel like if we lose the Beast Titan, technically the Beast Titan is lost and it's going to be reborn in an someone else. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye!